I saw this great blog on Daily Coast today uh, called the GOP Rape Advisory Chart. And a guy named Brain Rap, uh, well, that's his moniker, uh, put it together. And it has all the different quotes of the Republicans on rape. Um, almost all of them are in this election cycle. We got one from 1990. Um, and of course, we start with Richard Murdoch, right? The guy running in Indiana. He, of course, called uh, basically uh, gift from God rape, was a category that he almost invented, except Santorum is also in that category. He said, When life begins with that horrible situation of rape, that is something that God intended to happen. Now, by the way, today when Richard Murdoch was asked about, hey, do you think this will cost you voters? He said, no, uh, I already know that I have gained voters from this. Well, you must be so proud. All right, so, but they're convinced. They say this because they mean it. They, they didn't slip. He said it in the middle of a debate. Todd Akin said it on TV. And he, it wasn't like, oops, I slipped with a word. It's a whole hypothesis that Todd Akin had about legitimate rape, right? because they mean it. And now in this case, when asked, he says, yeah, he doubles down. He's like, oh yeah, okay. I mean, you misinterpreted my words, but ha -ha, I think everybody's on my side and they agree with me that God intended for all of this to happen. He, okay, you got raped, that's unfortunate. God didn't want that, but uh, he did want you to have a kid, so it's kind of a mixed intentions, I guess. And he thinks it's gonna help him win the election in Indiana. Well, but he's not the only one in the gift from God rape category. Rick Santorum also believes that. He said, quote, the right approach is to accept this horribly created in the sense of rape, but nevertheless, a gift of human life and accept what God has given to you. So if God gave you your rapist child, well, isn't that a wonderful God-given rape? How else do you interpret it? Now, understand how barbarous the actual policy is you get raped, you do not have a choice. They're saying no exceptions. Santorum, Aiken, Paul Ryan, Richard Murdoch, they all say the same thing. You're gonna have that rapist child. You're gonna have them. And by the way, in 31 states, they get parental visitation rights. So you have to see your rapist every week for the next 18 years. That's their policy, okay. And then there's a different category. Of course, that's the Aiken category of legitimate rape. It is a, if it's a legitimate rape, he said, the female body has ways to shut that whole thing down. But that's not the only rape categories. We also have uh, Dr. Ron Paul with the honest rape category. He says, if it's an honest rape, that individual should go immediately to the emergency room. I would give them a shot of estrogen. I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know what an honest rape is and what a dishonest rape is. Well, you got raped, but honestly, it was a dishonest rape. I guess he's saying they're lying about it and he's the one to judge because they're gonna judge everything in your private life and if you get raped, well, you're gonna to have to go in front of these government bureaucrats probably, in front of a rape panel and they're gonna decide whether you actually got raped or not before they give you the estrogen shot. And then there's the category of emergency rape. Well, this was Linda McMahon running for Senate in Connecticut. It was really an issue about a Catholic church being forced to offer these, those pills if the person came in for an, in an emergency rape. Are there non-emergency rapes? Nah, I'll get back to it later. And then there's the easy rape category. This is a Republican uh, from Wisconsin, Roger Rivard, a state representative. He said, if you go down that road, some girls, they rape so easy. Now, he didn't mean to, that you should go ahead and rape them easy. He was referring to something that his father said about, hey, they'll claim it's rape later, etc. Would you have phrased it that way if you cared about rape and were sensitive to it? Some girls rape so easy? Probably not. And then, of course, there's the category of forcible rape. These are all the different kinds of rapes that Republicans believe exist. This one, they put into legislation. This is co-sponsored by Todd Akin and Paul Ryan. They tried to pass this in the United States Congress. It would have prohibited federal funding of abortions, except in instances of an act of forcible rape or of a minor an act of incest. Well, you know, all those non-forcible rapes, the ones that you don't object to, right? Well, those we don't cover, okay? Why did they do all this? Because they gotta be able to sleep at night. And they think, that's so barbaric to have this woman force her to bear the rapist child. So they think, no, it's okay, God intended it. What a blessing that rapist gave that woman. God's blessing. Or they think, oh, you know what? Uh, it, that was probably a dishonest rape or an enjoyable rape, or, or a non-emergency rape, or not a legitimate rape. So you wouldn't get pregnant unless it was, a, during a legitimate rape, you wouldn't, wouldn't get pregnant anyway. 
So do, I don't have to worry about that moral problem because I've concocted this insane theory about rape, uh, which allows me to sleep at night, even though my policy is so hideous. So now, these, some of these guys make no exception for rape. In fact, I, I want to show you an ad that we put together at TYT here. So it's clip, clip 23, Mark. So if you are not allowed to have any exceptions, and you m must have the child of your rapist if you get raped, uh, you cannot have an abortion, well then, wouldn't it be entirely fair to run, if you were Democrats, to run this ad against Republicans? Republicans on reproductive rights. Life is that gift from God, even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape. I'm supporting Richard Murdoch for Senate. They want all abortions to be illegal. If one of these convicted rapists rapes again and gets a woman pregnant, she'll be forced to carry the baby to term. And in 31 states, he'll be allowed the same custody and visitation rights as the mother, Romney Ryan, making Father's Day a nightmare for millions of American women. Remember, Mitt Romney doesn't get the right to legislation. He just picks the Supreme Court justice, and they either make abortion legal or illegal. And if they leave it up to the states, then the states can make it illegal. So then, they, you wouldn't necessarily get exception for rape or incest. So, for at least large portions of this country, and all they need is one Supreme Court justice, which can easily happen in four years. You think it's not going to happen? It's going to happen if he gets elected. They overturn Roe vs. Wade, and next thing you know, sad day for you, at least in a large number of states, there are no exceptions. If you get raped or you suffer incest, you're going to have that baby because you don't get to make the choice. Those Republican guys get to make the choice for you. It is sick and it is grotesque.